They give us an absolute value inequality and they want us to solve, graph, and include interval notation. So because we have a less than or equal to sign, this is going to be a compound and inequality. So I could rewrite this as the absolute value of x minus 2 is greater than or equal to negative 5 and less than or equal to positive 5. Once I drop my brackets, this is what my expression should look like. And we're trying to get x in the middle by itself. So we're going to add 2 on both sides. Now once we simplify, this is going to be the inequality that represents the answer. So x is greater than or equal to negative 3 and less than or equal to 7. So we know that both of these are going to be closed circles. And this graph is going to run towards each other. So this is what it should look like. Now, when we're talking about interval notation, what numbers are included in this inequality or what is the range? So we know we're going to use a bracket because it's or equal to and it's going to be negative three all the way to positive seven. And this is how you would solve graph and express interval notation for the absolute value inequality.